Hello, my name is Elijah Blau, and I've been a vegan for over 10 years. In 2016, the Veggie Outers was formed to help more people consume more plant-based foods and get access to education and resources. We've since evolved into reviewing the restaurants that we pay a visit, based on the price, the atmosphere, customer service, and the food. We don't forget to have some fun in the process, though. Join us in yet another review where we go to a restaurant and give the food a try. The atmosphere is good. There's like a lot of people here. It's a good mixture of people and um, it's very laid back, so I like it. <laughs> uh, six. I'll say ten for all of that. I'll say ten for the dessert and nine for the other people. A six. I had cheaper nachos that tasted way better. I think customer service was a nine. The food came in super quick. The checks came in super quick. <laughs> So uh, she was super attentive and everything. What's up, Veggie Outers? This is Elijah, and we're at the Valente's Love Restaurant in Fort Worth. We're gonna be giving them a review based on the customer service, the price, the atmosphere, and the food. So stay tuned. Annie. Are you vegan? I am. How long have you been vegan for? Twelve years, give or take. Okay. Uh, we finally got someone that's beat me. I'm 11, <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta do my song. <laughs> so, what'd you get on the menu? I got the uh, on the kids menu the chicken quesadilla. And how did that stroke your taste for us on a scale of one to ten? I loved it. I could have um, used some more veggies, but I'm also not a kid, so it would probably be very suiting for a child. So, uh, Stephen, are you a vegan? I'm vegan. Uh, how long have you been vegan for? Five years. Maybe more now. <laughs> I've been saying five years for a few years now, let's just say that. Okay. And uh, what did you get on the menu? Uh, I got four sopes. And uh, how did those stroke your taste buds on a scale of one to ten? They stroke my ta they stroke my taste bud really well on a scale of like one to ten. Let's say a nine in my wallet too, because they're three dollars each. So, Freddie, are yes. you a vegan? I actually I'm a veg I'm a vegetarian. All right. And uh, what'd you get on the menu? I got the the vegan burger. Okay. And uh, what would you give that on a scale of one to ten? One to ten, I would give it. Probably the 10. It was very tasty. All right, Anthony. I am vegan. You're vegan? Been vegan for about two and a half years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what'd you get on the menu? I got the chickenless fajita and also the guava empanada. All right. How did that accommodate your taste buds on a scale of 1 to 10? I would say the empanada brought it up to an 8. Um, I had to, take my to be, it was really good. To be very critical, I feel like the chicken could have been a bit crispier, so the texture wouldn't be all the same. But outside of that, everything was really good. And the empanada, I should have gotten four of them. Okay, something to know for next time. Yeah, lesson learned. Okay, uh, what'd you get on the menu? Um, I got the berilla tacos. And how did that accommodate your taste buds? Oh, it was really good. Yeah, it was really good. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what is the land? Uh, I would say a 10. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. What did you get on the uh, menu? Uh, I had the chickenless ranchero and the cauliflower wings with mango habanero sauce. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a look at that plate. It says a lot, but I'm still going to ask you, what did yeah. you get on a scale of 1 to 10? Then, yeah, I really like the uh, chicken less ranchero. Uh, it was really delicious. Yeah. Okay, gal. So, what did you get on the menu today? I got a chimichanga, uh, the barbacoa chimichanga. And how did that accommodate your taste buds? I thought it was really good. I, I think it's not my favorite chimichanga I've ever had, but definitely, definitely really good. It, and the interesting thing is, it's made with mushrooms. The barbacoa is made with mushrooms, so it's not like a, you know, a mock meat kind of thing. They just make the barbecue. They make the, they make the mushroom taste like barbacoa. So um, I think it's probably a bit healthier because you know mushrooms are good for you. So I will give it a nine. 
Okay. And uh, just curious, uh, where does this chimichanga stand among the other restaurants? Like, well, is it third place, second place, or what? it's probably third. Um, El Pelote is my favorite. Uh, Casa del Vegano is my second favorite, and this would—I guess this would be go with third. But it's—it's—they're close. Okay. So, Monica, uh, what did you get on the menu today? I got the um, enchiladas with the chicken is chicken and topped with the um, queso with rice and beans. And uh, what would you rate that on a scale of one to ten? Um, I'll say seven. So, Lynn, uh, what did you get on the menu today? I got the pastor chimichanga. Okay. And how did that serve your taste buds? Oh, that was wonderful. Uh, yeah, it, it was really, really, really good. Okay. Did you say 10? Yeah, I would say 10, yeah. Okay, it got loud for a second. Oh. So, Rita, uh, what'd you get on the menu? So, I got uh, the fajitas with nopal, with the cactus. And how did that accommodate your taste buds? It was pretty good. They could have put more nopal in there because they kind of had to hunt for it, but the flavor was really good with the actual fajita part. The beans were so-so, and then the rice was just standard rice. It wasn't anything that jumped out at me. So what would you give it on a scale of 1 to 10? Like with solid part? I'd probably do a 7. Okay. So, um, uh, what's your name? Utan. Okay. You know, are you uh, vegan? Yes. Uh, how long have you been vegan for? Uh, for a year and a half. Okay. And uh, what'd you get on the menu? I got the veggie fajita. Yeah, number 26. Number 26, yeah. Okay. And uh, what would you give that food on a scale of 1 to 10? Seven. And uh, what would you rate the atmosphere in this place? Like the visual decor, how it made you feel on a scale of one to ten? Um, I'll say a ten. The staff is super friendly, like like they're vegan, they're a family, like they're homegrown, like they're they're here to like be friends with us and that's what I felt. I felt very welcome with the staff and the people around me. And uh, what would you give the atmosphere in this place, like the visual of the floor, how it makes you feel, on a scale of 1 to 10? It's a 10. It's a good vibes here. And, you know, a lot of things are based on vibes, and this is awesome. I like it. I would have to give the atmosphere a 10. You know, they've had a really good time with the uh, veggie outers today. And uh, how about the atmosphere in this place? What would you rate? Out of 10? Yeah, out of 10. 10. Okay. Any uh, particular thing you want to point out that you like? Um, I've always loved right behind you this uh, mural. I always thought it was beautiful. Very well done. Oh, the atmosphere is definitely a 10. It's very colorful, bright, uh, vibrant. Um, it's not like too loud, so you can like still hear people talk. So I would say a 10. Yeah, it's, it is. It is pretty cozy. Like I thought, the space looks bigger than it actually is, which is amazing. And the decorations and the ambience around, the music and everything. Yeah, I like it. I would. I, I would give it a nine. Yeah, it's awesome. I like it. It's very cute and pretty. Um, I I don't have any objection to anything. So I I think it's a ten. I mean, so it's casual. Okay. I'm really like the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, it's inviting. It's just kind of like a um, like a regular Tex-Mex cantina you could go to. So, uh, what would you give that on a scale of one to ten? I'd give it a nine. I I'd give the atmosphere a ten. I really think it's I, it, it's really nice. And uh, how about the atmosphere of this place? What number does that give? It's kind of eclectic. So then I would give it a, a ten. It's fun, friendly atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how about the atmosphere on a scale of one to ten, like the visual decor, how it makes you feel? What would you give that? Yeah, uh, I would give that an eight. Okay. Yeah, I like the music. The decor definitely feels. Is your fear of personal finance holding you back from going after what you want? What if I told you there was a way to get rid of your insecurities, 
Every person has their own way of making money, budgeting style, and a way of spending money. The key to financial success is the ability to use the right styles for you that ensure success. So rather than making you focus on avoiding your emotions, this book focuses on empowering them and using them to achieve what you want. Learn how to build and increase the income streams you desire. Understand how to budget your money in a way that you are always moving forward financially. Know how to remove stress from spending money by knowing what works best for your personality. Learn methods to effectively evaluate a financial opportunity within minutes to see if it is right for you. The Anatomy of Financial Success. The key to building financial confidence and destroying insecurities about money. Buy now. Available in ebook, audiobook, and paperback. I feel like I'm giving out too many tens, but <laughs> let's go with the nine point. <laughs> let's go with the ten. Let's do it. So they got a perfect score. They got a perfect score. I think there was a nine in there somewhere, but yeah, they got a perfect score. Okay. There is no perfection. Okay. The people are great. I mean, this is my first time with this group, and um, I, I'm enjoying it. And uh, what do you think about the customer service here on a scale of one to ten? I would give them a 10, 10 as well. Uh, they're pretty friendly and quick. They don't have to wait very long for the food, so yeah, 10. And what would you rate the customer service here? 10. <laughs> you didn't have to think about it, okay. They're always very kind, very welcoming. The customer service would have to be, it would have to be a 10. I really don't like giving out tens, but I really did enjoy it. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the customer service was really well. The um, the waiters were very uh, pleasant and kind to us, as well as the story of the history behind this place is also really nice. And uh, how about the customer service? Oh, customer service was a ten. The food came out quick. He was nice. He took everyone's order. He got everyone's order right too, which counts. Um, so I would say definitely a 10. And I have all the customer service, so I'm still going to understand how to take care of them. The waiter forgot my water for, for a while and there wasn't enough space uh, on the table. So, like, I ordered two dishes, but that's fine. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but, but other than that, the service was really good. I would, I, I would, I would still give it an 8 or a 9. Yeah. Eight and a half, maybe. Like an eight point five. Yeah, eight point five. Well, I, I'm going to have to say seven. Um, there were things that I, we're we we do kind of overwhelm some places with the large group we have, um, but there were problems with people get you know a long time before certain drinks came out, got Lynn's order wrong. That, there was nothing wrong with mine, but all around me I was seeing little problems. Um, so, you know, it, it's hard to keep up with a group this size, but since there were problems, I'm, I'm going to say seven. Well, I got here late, so I got served quickly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the customer service is good. I'll get that a nine, too. We had the usual large group issues, so I'd say a nine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and uh, how about the customer service? Well, there are two phases to the customer service. So when I got here, I didn't see anybody, and they gave me the brand new. They didn't know who the group was, and they kept asking me all these questions. So beforehand, I would give it a negative 10, to be honest. Okay. Now, once they realized that we were with the group, then they improved, but I cannot give them a 10 to make up for how horrible it was in the beginning, okay? So I would give it about a six, because then on top of that, like certain people didn't get their water and they had to beg for the water. You didn't have your silverware. Um, Peter had to ask for like napkins and stuff, okay? Those things should be standard. I just, I don't know. And maybe I'm jaded because my initial experience was really bad. I was actually going to leave, so. Customer service, I would give it a six. Okay, you got any elaboration or? <laughs> well, just like little things like, you know, like as many people as they are having water, they have to go ask for a glass of water. 
or ask for silverware or um, uh, the, the person who helped was friendly and gave their recommendations but as far as like standard things that's why I rated it lower. Well, since you brought the wallet up, what would you rate everything in terms of price on a scale of 1 to 10? I'll say a 9. I'll say a 9. You can, you can, you can get down to a 2, but I spent a 9. So it's really up to you what you want to do. We got a free drink. We got a free pastry. So, like, actually a 10. There's, there's nothing better than free, especially for a vegan restaurant. You don't see it. So a 10? A 10. Let's go with a 10. I only had to pay for the water. Okay. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Anyways. Well, probably about a 12, because it was it was better than I expected. So I'm going past 10. <laughs> okay, okay. How about that price on a scale of 1 to 10? Very reasonable. Um, I'm a little bit frugal, so I'm going to give it a 9, but I think as far as restaurants go... Okay. And what would you rate the price? The price? I would have to give the price a 7 out of 10. I do not like spending money on food. So that's my excuse for that. Oh, the price was good too, the price point. I think my tacos were like $14.99 for what I got. I got a really good amount. Like, I'm actually taking food home, so for what I bought, like, yeah, it was a really good price. So it's a 10? Yep, 10 so across the board. Score, then. Yep. <laughs> okay. So this is Kay's per first perfect score. Yep. That's right. right, yeah it is, yeah. And yeah. yeah, how about the uh, price on scale of 1 to 10? Price is also really good. Uh, regarding the quantity we got, I would say the price is really good. Like, nine and a half. Yeah. Okay. So they get a lot of points, no pun intended, right? True, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a little, a little high, but then a lot of these places are, so... I mean, it's affordable, it's not terrible. Um, it's not the kind of money I want to spend on myself for one meal very often, so I'll say eight. Um, a little bit high, but considering prices nowadays, um, not too bad. So what, what would you get number-wise? Seven. Okay. I'd say an eight. It's not out of line, but it is pricey, so. I mean, you know, not. It's not out of line for vegan food, but still, it's not something I would go every day and spend that much. Yeah. I thought it was overpriced. So, I got, you know, like I said, my fajitas, and then I had the agua fresca, and somehow, after the tip, I ended up paying almost $30. So number-wise, what would you give it? Sorry, you did ask me. Um, I would say about a six. Good marketing on her Okay. For the amount of food, I would give it an eight because there was a lot of food, but I was hungry, so I ate it all. But like, I probably could have done like save some for later or something. So yeah, I would say the quality per amount mm -hmm, was okay. yeah. What's up, veggie outers? So, what would I rate the uh, food? I've rated a seven. I do think that the tacos were good, and I got number 20 on the menu. It's gonna be showing right here in post editing because I don't remember what it was called. The tacos were good, but as they got colder, they got less tasty. So, that's just something I gotta knock some points off of. If it wasn't for that, it might have been like an eight. As far as the atmosphere, I know they got like some kind of celebration going on because it's their anniversary. I like it. I think I'm gonna actually give it a 10. As far as the customer service. So I got a, a small story to share here. They have a reservation policy, but I didn't have any way of knowing what that was because they don't have a website. I think that's kind of weird to have a reservation policy, but you don't have an accurate media representation of what the experience is gonna be like. So since they don't have a website and they have that reservation policy, that does impact my customer service. I would give it a seven. Two points are off because of what I said, but there's another point because I was monitoring what was going on at the table with everyone else. And there were issues with like them not serving enough water and silverware missing. So I give it a seven. Was it horrible? No, but it does have some area that they can improve on. As far as the price, I think it's about uh, average, not too expensive. 
not exactly economical either. So I would say a seven. But uh, overall, that's my review. If you want to stay tuned for more reviews from the Veggie Outers, go to www.theveggieoutters.com. I'll catch you later. See you out.